Welcome to the metropolis, the big city. This is where tech, trends, and culture meet. Meet the people. See the sights. Walk the city streets and experience the lifestyle. This is your first class ticket to the cities of the world. Zurich, Switzerland's largest city. You'll be met with countless things to do. You can hop on a boat for a different view of the city that is from the bottom up. Try one of the flat boats at Lima Chifalt, which can carry up to 51 passengers. The trip will course through seven bridges in a one hour round trip. Dedicate a day to view the artistic side of Zurich. In the popular Kunsthaus, you'll find a lot of your favorite legendary artists, the likes of Van Gogh, Monet, and Chagall. Also popular among tourists is the stroll along Niederdorf. It's got fondue restaurants and souvenir shops left and right, within the old buildings and along the narrow streets. Want to experience a breathtaking view of the city? Climb up the tower of Grossmünster and you'll be surprised! The Zurich West is also fast becoming the heart of town. It is also often referred as the Craze 5 or Industria Quartier by the locals. Its main attraction is called the Viaduct, where a stretch of shops restaurants and bars are aligned. You'll also come across an urban garden, a Sunday market in summer, or a fondue tent in the winter, among other seasonal attractions depending on your date of visit. Bar hopping is also a popular activity in Zurich. Usually, people would start in Central to have a heavy meal first before all the drinking. Then you can course through the streets for cocktails or beer, depending on what you like. There's definitely something for everyone. Prepare for a long night out. Of course, you have to visit a body. The bodies are known to be Zurich's unique attractions. You can lounge around the wooden planks nearby, play beach, volleyball, or enjoy a drink. The left bank is where you should go if you're in for a long swim. Ready for shopping? Walk down the streets of Bahnhofstrasse. But beware, as it is one of the most expensive shopping districts in the world. The lower half of Bahnhofstrasse's got the high street brands, while the luxury shops are at the upper end, closer to the lake. Around the area are little cafes and restos to stop by for a break, or you can simply appreciate the view. Berkeley Known for its world-class university, liberal politics, and cultural and culinary pursuits, Berkeley City. It is but a mid-sized city in the San Francisco Bay Area in California with much to offer. It has about only 112,000 people but with a great presence and strong reputation. You'll surely find an eclectic mix of cultures in this free-thinking city. It is home to a variety of yuppies, hippies, students, scientists, and activists. Where to go in the city of Berkeley? First, there's the Berkeley Art Museum, with high-profile exhibits regularly on schedule. It's got its own permanent collection 
and rotating with participating artists too. For a relaxing day in the city, drop by the Berkeley Marina and Pier. It is home to restaurants, sailing clubs and the park. You will see the view of the popular Golden Gate Bridge and San Francisco skyline. Then, there's the Pacific Film Archive, with one of the most extensive film archives in the world. You'll surely learn about directors that hail from different eras and artistic movements. It is also the venue for the annual San Francisco International Film Fest. Another must visit is the historic People's Park, a landmark of the free speech movement. Then of course, there's the popular University of California, Berkeley. It has a visitor center for tourists, and you can go around its 178-acre campus. When you want a taste of the best local produce, there's the farmer's market. It's got prepared foods as well as performers and booths for local organizations too. Along downtown Berkeley, there are also game shops for hobbyists and gamers. There are specialty shops, some to feature their proudly locally made products. You'll find bookstores around here too. For a taste of Berkeley's gourmet food options, head over the streets up north. You'll also find Pakistani and Mexican restaurants here. The fresh food movement has become quite active around Berkeley. You'll find fertile farms and exquisite wineries around the city too. Salem Not quite the most popular city, but Salem is worth the trip. Dare to explore the city that holds the key to the trade industry. Chestnut Street is lined with grand houses of the wealthy neighborhood. Take a tour around Stephen Phillips Memorial Trust House. Historically, the city is known for the infamous witchcraft trials of 1692, a grisly past. Salem also holds one of America's finest museums, the Peabody Essex Museum. Here, you'll see collections of maritime art, American decorative arts, and the historical and contemporary arts from China, Japan, Korea, India, Africa, North America, and the Pacific Islands. Then there's a huge North Shore area including the beautiful and historic Cape Ann. It's been designated as the Essex National Heritage Area with 34 villages and communities in it. The place claims to have the most historic structure per acre than anywhere else in the country. The Salem Maritime National Historic Site, for one, has 12 historic buildings. It preserves Salem's late 18th to 19th century maritime history, which helped establish the United States' economic independence. And it doesn't end there. The House of Seven Gables holds a popular collection of colonial homes. Here, you'll find one of the oldest surviving 17th century wooden mansions in New England, built in 1668. Nathaniel Hawthorne used the House of Seven Gables as the setting for his famous novel of the same name. Moving forward, there's also the popular New England Fishing Harbor. Called Motif No. 1, it is the red fishing shack with lobster boys, an image we often see of the fishing site. Around it are art galleries and studios reflecting the magnificent little fishing town. Finally, there's Ipswich, a popular town with antique enthusiasts. Along high streets are shops and galleries worth the visit. 
You can also end your trip with a walking trail along the long shore of Crane Beach. Pasadena Discover Pasadena and its unique charm. There's definitely something about the city in San Gabriel Valley that makes it attractive. The city has just got enough to offer. Whether you want a packed schedule trying everything or just chill, relax and enjoy the city. You can walk around the city and appreciate its traditional charm. Old Pasadena also known as Old Town, is a classic downtown district popular in South California. You can go shopping along Colorado Boulevard. Shops, restaurants, and bars are lined in its turn-of-the-century brick buildings. Whether you're in for a drink or a heavy meal like pizza, you'll find a place to fit in. For a dose of the city's architectural history, there's the Pasadena City Hall. You'll be amazed at its overwhelmingly tall structure, with its series of arches and domes. It's great to view from a distance, but even better up close. Walk through the rose-filled courtyard and see the Renaissance-inspired details. Most popular are the John Bakewell and Arthur Brown's 1927 constructions. Now, Get a glimpse into the city's culture and entertainment. The Pasadena Playhouse is definitely a tourist's favorite. It was built back in the 1920s but revived in the 80s. It boasts of a 672-seat venue where new plays and musicals are staged. It also has a Spanish colonial courtyard dedicated to neighborhood events. Don't miss the action while in Pasadena! Its popular Rose Bowl Stadium has been the venue for many iconic entertainment events. For one, the stadium is home to the UCLA Bruins football team. Sports tournaments, auditions for reality TV shows, and concert tours of mainstream pop stars have been held here. For a nature trip, there's the Eaton Canyon Falls. It's one of the most popular spots as it is accessible and has easy-going trails. This is definitely for those looking for adventure. Or maybe you would prefer the more laid-back Brookside Park. It's got a scenic garden that locals love and attracts tourists too. The park is located with a stunning view of San Gabriel Mountains as backdrop. Vatican Vatican City or the Holy See It gained independence from Italy on the 11th of February in 1929. The sovereign independent state has a population of less than 1,000, yet it is one of the most popular cities for tourists. The Holy See, which is surrounded by Rome, has been the home of the Pope since 1378 and is considered the seat of the Catholic religion. And then, of course, there are the very popular Vatican museums, which is mainly why most people fly in for a visit. There's the Sistine Chapel, which is considered the private chapel of the Pope. This is also where cardinals meet to vote for a new Pope. Its ceiling frescoes feature paintings by the great Michelangelo, and the biblical scenes on the wall are by several artists including Perugino and Botticelli. The gateway to Vatican City is St. Peter's Square and Basilica. It is built on the site that covers St. Peter's tomb. It is considered one of the largest churches in the world. Michelangelo's famous Pieta is also featured in this church. Italian Masses are held here every Sunday. 
Visitors are allowed but must follow the strict dress code, no bare knees or shoulders. Another attraction unique to the Vatican is the Swiss Guard. They have been guarding the Vatican City since 1506 and today would still dress in the traditional costume. These guards are Roman Catholic Swiss nationals, between 19 to 30 years old and are high school graduates. On the Tiber River, there's a Castel Sant'Angelo. It was built as a tomb for Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century. It was built over the Roman walls and has an underground passageway to the Vatican. During summer, concerts and other special events may be held there. It's a great place also just for strolling and enjoying the view by the river. For great eats, the popular ones are also within the Vatican museums. There are cafeteria-style restaurants, a bar and pizzeria. You'll also find a courtyard with an Italian-style bar with alcoholic beverages. Meanwhile, there are more must-try treats outside the walls of the Vatican. You'll find high-end restaurants that serve sushi, fresh fish, and more. Places that serve quick bites, like cheese and cold cuts, can also be found here. There are also Sicilian restaurants, or Rome-based ones, each with impressive menus to choose from. Stockholm Why visit Stockholm? One of the world's most beautiful cities. Stockholm is built where the lake meets the city and on as many as 14 islands. The city's rich culture and tradition dates from up to 8 centuries back. There are many reasons to choose this city. For one, it is a sight to behold. The capital of Sweden is captivating. Imagine walking on islands on the stream and having an endless view of nature everywhere you look. The sparkling blue water is quite addictive. In the city, water is all-encompassing. Plus, it's clean enough, making it great for fishing or swimming whenever you feel like it. The archipelago is also known for its green spaces. Perhaps it is the largest city with the most green spaces. And then, of course, there are the popular attractions. What's great in the city is that the places to visit are easily accessible and just near each other. There are castles, a medieval town, and a wide selection of museums and galleries. There's the Vasa Museum, which is a tourist's favorite. There's Skansen, which shows us the traditional Swedish life pre-industrial era. And then, of course, there's the Gripsholm and the Royal Palace. Definitely will make for a majestic trip. Stockholm is also known for being a year-round destination. The summer nights are magical, and so's the nighttime Christmas market in the old town. The city also transforms into a new destination during each of the four seasons. The city's also teeming with newness, hip, and young energy. When it comes to fashion, design, food, and everything in between, Stockholm's got creativity and trends for you to see, experience, and even purchase. Art and architecture, and of course, good design is also injected in the city's DNA. It's a shopping haven for its unique pics that you'll only find here. Get inspired into the eclectic mix that this city's got to offer. The city isn't short of cool bars and restaurants too. The Swedish flavors of the city are certainly worth trying. Award-winning chefs and restaurants have grown in the city. Indeed, the city's got everything for you. Phuket 
Phuket is the second smallest province of Thailand and is located in the southern region. It is made of Phuket Island, the country's largest, plus 32 other smaller islands off its coast. Phuket Province has an area of 576 square kilometers or 222 square miles. Majority of the residents in Phuket are Buddhist, but there are about 20% of Muslims in the province too. Among the Muslims, many are of Malay descent. There are also residents of Chinese ancestry, making up an even larger population in the area. This is due to the mass migration to Phuket in the 19th century. Phuket has become a popular tourist destination nowadays, with its bright mix of natural attractions that beckons every adventurer. Plus, it's got a mix of off-the-beaten-track spots to discover too. The big island is just too attractive not to visit and explore. Of course, there are the natural beauties. Enjoy the beaches, quiet views, back streets and restaurants that serve the freshest seafood. You won't fall short of activities to try too. You can try whitewater rafting in Phang Nga or have kids explore the east coast of Koh Yao Noi Island. There are also temples to visit or hang around until the sunset. You can try scuba diving too. It's one of the most recommended activities in Phuket. Waterfall hopping is also a great idea as Phuket has several small waterfalls that are a breathtaking sight. Enjoy the view, breathe in the fresh air and jump into the water. Another water activity is diving. The Rachayai Island is popular for that. You can also opt for a boat ride to any of the nearby islands. It's your best option when you just want to relax and enjoy the beauty of nature. There's kayaking too, if you're in for a little adventure. There's also the Phuket Big Buddha that's great for hiking and of course, amazing views. Meanwhile, back in the city, you can also watch a football game. The Phuket FC is always exciting to watch. And then of course, the famous temples are not to be missed. Top tourist choices are the Chalong Temple, Wat Fratong, and the Karon Temple. Dig deep into Phuket's historic and cultural feats among ancient structures, the ruins, and spiritual sites. It's time for us to go! Pack your bags and get your tickets ready! And we'll see you on the next destination! Catch us again next time on Cities of the World.